Good evening, happy pot lovers. Tonight I'm going to see if I can't demonstrate how to make a clay whistle, specifically a water whistle. So the way a water whistle works is that you have a cavity that um, holds water. Then you have a tube that goes down into the water like a straw. You're blowing bubbles in your soda or your milk um, works the same way except that that straw is a whistle. And when you whistle into the water, you get a warbling whistle. Typically these are made um, in bird shapes, but you can make them in all kinds of shapes. So I'm not sure what shape we're gonna make it in tonight. But first, we have to make the whistle part. So, let's roll this out. You want it fairly thin, but not too thin. And I'm going to wet my surface so that it doesn't dry out my clay as I'm working with it. Just moisten it, that's all. When you're rolling out clay, you want to try to keep it even. Uh, it's real easy to push harder on the edges than in the middle. So be mindful of that when you're doing it. So I kind of let up pressure. Well, what's perceived to my mind is letting up pressure towards those outside edges. And even so, I can see that my outside edges are a little bit thinner than the middle. So I'm just going to even that out right there. And now I'm going to use my dowel as a straight edge. To trim that off. Trim it this way. And I got a blemish right there, so let's just trim it right there. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take hmm. I guess I'll use my skinnier dowels and make a skinnier tube. So I'm going to fold this over my dowel. And then I'm going to take a second dowel, stick it right next to this, and use it to measure and cut right along that. Now, I can score these and because this is very wet clay, I'm just going to use some water on it instead of the vinegar that I usually use. I'm just going to use some of my throwing water.
All right. Let's see if I can get that folded down a little bit more. Get my brush here. Get some throwing order on there. Let's see if I can't make these two edges up. And tuck that down in just a little bit. Work these edges together. Now, let me take my little knife here, and I'm just going to kind of knit this together. So, I want to make sure this is a nice seam, well joined. And I want a little bit of a lower tone on this. So I rolled the wall thick deliberately. And I'm going to just expand the inside just a little bit. I didn't want it as big as my big dowel. And I wanted it a little bit bigger than my small dowel. Now I'm going to take my finger and just go on the outside and smooth down any cracks that are there. You can use your sponge, you can use your finger, you can use your fettling knife. I find that my finger works just fine. Just smoothing down those little cracks where it got a little teeny bit dry and when I rolled it, it expanded. All right, and let's just roll it one more time along here. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Now the next thing what I need to do is build the whistle part. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go in not that far. I'm going to cut a straight line across. Rest that on the bench so that it keeps it up against the top. Then I'm going to go in from here, and I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle right down to that cut that I made. And there we go. All right. Now, let's smooth this back a little bit. And we'll adjust this some more in a minute. I'm probably going to have to make that hole a little bit bigger. But we'll see in a minute. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I need to get a piece of clay. That fits up in my hole. And I'm just going to dip the tip of it in the water. 
And we're going to push this right down in that hole. And I'm going to stop when I see it coming out down here, right there. See it? OK. Now I'm going to take my dowel and put it in this end. And I'm going to brace that against my leg. And I'm going to take my other dowel and come in this end. And I'm going to tamp that in there. And what I'm trying to do, essentially, is just plug up that hole because I need to make a straight drop right here. where my um, airway is going to come out. And I want that to be straight up and down. And I want it to be smooth. Now, let's see if you can see in there. I don't know if you can. Let me get the angle where I can see it. Um, so I have plugged up the airway, nothing can go through, and now I am going to take my needle tool and I'm going to start making that airway right through here. And this is a little bit of a slow process because I have to remove the clay. Actually, I think what I'll do, I've got one of these sticks. Yes, this one. So this stick, I have created a little flat piece on it. And I'm going to use that to poke through. And I'm going to put my dowel back in to support the area we call the fipple, which is the wedge shape part. And let's just smooth that out. I want a nice sharp edge there. This is one of the whistle pieces. Let me get it to focus here. Right there. So you can see that little shelf right in there. And there has to be a flat drop right where the air comes out. That creates the turbulence. Then you have the shelf. And the shelf should line up. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So to see where the shelf is about halfway in that air hole. And that will let it whistle. Okay. Smooth this. Get the crumbs out. All right, let's see if we have any sound coming out. I don't think I will because I think my fipple is too low. Yep. All right, so let's raise the fipple up. Put the dowel in and push this little wedge part up. And sharpen it some.
and bend this back down like it should be. I'm getting there. Okay. Take the needle tool and clean out some of the debris. These little clay boogers will interfere with the airflow. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Almost. A little bit more here, smooth this up, smooth this up. Push that down too much. edge nice and sharp right there and nice and sharp right there A little more airflow, just playing with the geometry here. Okay, that's pretty good. I could probably Shape this just a little more evenly right here. Let's see if I can do this without messing things up.
Hmm. Clay tastes so much like dirt. It's not funny. Why would that be? All right. Let me smooth this out right there. Right there. I think that's pretty good. All right. So we can set that aside. Now, if you want to, you can kind of make this a little bit flatter, just so it looks a little bit nicer on your lips, but you don't have to. I'm just going to clean that edge up just a tad. Okay, now for the other part. Just set that aside. And let's get some clay and make a pinch pot. So what shape do we want to make this guy in? Can make it into a bird. Can make it into a face. You can make it into a train and have it be a train whistle. Um, any number of things you can do. But the first thing to do is to make a closed spherical, some sort of a closed form. You don't want this too thin because you want to be able to join it and manipulate it, but you don't want it too thick either. Don't want it being too heavy. So we're just going to go with about like that. That is probably quarter inch ish. We'll call it quarter inch. I suppose I could measure it. I do have a little ruler right here. Let's see how good I am at guessing. That's a hair shy of a quarter inch, maybe three eighths. Some spots might be a quarter. Get a little more than that. Get some of the softer clay here and mix it in. Let's see what we got. Just going all the way around and working them together, closing up any air holes so that I can shape it how I want it. Let's see, this area feels a little thinner, so we'll make this the back of the bird. So I'm just kind of shaping it. And you want to make sure that you're not making it too long for your whistle. All right, now I need a little flat spot on the bottom. So he sits up. And I can always add pieces to it, which is exactly what I'm going to do now, because what good is a bird without a head? So I'm going to make me another little smaller pinch pot. I need a little bit more than that.
He sits pretty straight. His head's pretty round. Let's give this one some wings. So I'm going to take a ball of clay. And take my knife and cut it in half. Now I've got two balls of clay. Now I'm going to take my thumb, smushy, smushy, put the flat side down, and smushy, smushy. And let's make it a little more wing shape. Kind of a teardrop with a little sweep at the end. And kind of a teardrop with a little sweep at the end. Let's see how we did. Yeah, fairly even. The other one's a little bit bigger, so we'll just adjust this one. Get that sweep at the end. I'd say they are close enough. So, put one wing here and one wing here. And I like it better right there. And those look pretty even and they, they're they pretty stuck on there. I was going to slip and score, but frankly, they're stuck on there. So let's take the brush. And see if we can't get these guys smoothed a little bit. Yeah, just a tiniest little bit of flaky cracky on the edges. So I just want to smooth that out. And make sure it's in there good, too. Okay. Now. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's give him a little bit of a crest on top of his head. And to do that, I'm going to have a little ball, roll it into a cone. Eh, maybe not. 
but I does need a beak. And that looks like a good size beak for him. So this one I am going to give him some score right there. And some score right there because this is getting a little bit drier. And a drop of that throwing water. And let's get his beak on here. All right. Without messing up his wings, which are still pretty wet, let's get this beak worked in. And the last thing he needs is some eyeballs. So again, we take two little teeny tiny balls of clay, about the same size. And to get them about the same size, you roll a ball. And you cut it in half. All righty. So one eye there. Go on there, eyeball. And one eye there. They look pretty even, except his head is cocked to one side. Let's see. Let's drop that one down, bring it over that way just a little bit. Okay. Smoosh that in there. Smoosh that in there. And then, and then, let's give him some. Some eyelashes on there. And let's take our ballpoint pen with the tip closed and we're going to put a little circle in his eye. And there's his eyeballs. All right, it's time for surgery. First thing I want to do is make give him a mouth. And we're going to go in right here. And open it up. Right. Open up. Okay. 
Okay, sorry, had a little interruption. So now, looks like I went a little bit too high on the beak, but that's okay. Next thing I'm going to do is make my air hole. And to do that, I'm going to, that's too big. Mm, I'm take this guy right here. And get play booger out of there. It's going to go right down in his beak. And it's going to go all the way through the body section. Uh oh. Open that beak a little bit more. I hope I got far enough in. I think I did. But now we got to fix this beak because I just poked him in the nose. There we go. All right. He's kind of smiling there. Happy. Yeah. And I'm going to take... Um, Take this and give him a nostril there and a nostril there. Could have got him a little more even, but it's okay. That's close enough. All right, he's still smiling and happy. Give him a little more point on that nose. Good enough. Happy bird, happy bird. Okay. Now we got to give him his whistle part. And it's going to go right in here. So, needle tool. All right. I'll take my scalpel here and go right along those lines. Take that little plug out of there, put it back in my clay, and let's clean this up some. Now, just to check that I got the hole in his mouth all the way through. Let's do this. I did not. Okay. So take a skewer. Let's 
that went through. Oh, yeah. Now we got it. All right. And in goes the whistle. Need a little bit more room here. There. there we go. Well, almost. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's pare this down a little bit because this is kind of thick anyway. Let's see how that goes. That's a little better. There we go. Now we can go down. Let's see how far we're in. I want it a little bit further than that. So let's trim this down some more. kind of like that texture. Okay, that is all the way in. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I think we're all the way in. I am going to continue that texture on up through this because I like it. It's 
kind of tree branchy. Just making sure it still whistles. I didn't change anything there. Hmm. Lovely taste of clay. And then you can glaze these however you like or not glaze them. But I recommend not glazing the inside. And be very careful when you glaze the whistle parts because you do not want to mess up your fipple. You need that nice sharp edge and you don't want to clog up your airway. All right, let's see how that goes. Yep. All right, now we've got to join this. Just put a little water down in here to kind of re-moisten this body of the whistle for a second here. And then I'm going to roll a nice coil and put it around there. And then I might give this guy a little tail. I'll get some of this little bit stiffer clay here. And I'm going to roll that in a ball. And then I'm going to kind of roll it in a sort of a cone shape, but not a total cone, not a real pointy cone. And then... And then let's do kind of a fan shape here. Turn it over and push it that way. it relatively even there. All right, and then I think what I want to do, let me wet these edges a little bit, keep them from cracking. Don't need no cracking right here. I was going to push in, but I think what I'm going to do is actually push out. So push out and push out. That's given kind of a heart shaped tail. Just a hint of that heart shape. How does that look? It does not interfere with the sound. I think it's a little thick at the bottom.
doesn't look bad that way. It looks kind of out of place that way. I can go like that. Doesn't look bad there. I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't really do anything for me head on like that. Although it does kind of camouflage the whistle part. We can put the tail on this time, just for fun. Okay, I think we're going to call this guy done. There's our happy little bird, cute little eyeballs, smiling little beak, a heart-shaped tail, pretty little wings, and he whistles. All right, guys. Challenge yourselves, build your own whistles or whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy like this little guy here. But enjoy life, keep chasing your dreams, and stay centered. Just testing the little water whistle that came out of the bisque today. Fill the cavity up with a little bit of water, and when you whistle, it warbles. <laughs>